Hello my kids, welcome to our channel. This is Komal Sharma. I am here to teach you science and our today's topic is reproduction in animals. But before we will start, if you have not subscribed our channel till now, subscribe it, like and share the videos among your friends and don't forget to hit the bell icon for our latest notification. Children, you have already learned about living and non-living things. Okay, so tell me some examples of living things. Yeah, you're right. Plants, animals and human beings are the examples of living things. So here is an activity for you all. Here are some characteristics of living things. You have to find out whether the characteristics are true or false. Okay. So let's start with first sentence. Living things can grow. Yeah, it's true. Living things can grow. Living things cannot breathe. Mm, you can breathe, na? I can also breathe. So, we are living things. So, living things can breathe. Yeah, characteristic, this one is wrong. Living things can reproduce. Yes, living things can reproduce. We studied already. Living things cannot move. False. Living things can move. Okay? Living things cannot feel. This statement is also false. Living things can feel. Okay. So children, all living things li live for a certain period of time. And after that, they die. The period of time, the period of time for which a living organism lives is called its lifespan. It's called its lifespan. So the period of time for which a living organism lives is called its lifespan. Now, the next question is, what is reproduction? Reproduction is a process by which living things produce more of their own kind. We already know that plant, animals and human beings are living things. So, they all can reproduce. Means They all can produce more of their own kind. See this plant. Plants produce seeds which grow into a new plant same way female animals and human beings give birth to young ones okay now animals reproduce in two ways number one is some animals reproduce by giving birth to their young ones like this cat and some animals produce their young ones through eggs like our birds now the animals which give birth to their young ones which give birth to their young ones are called viviporous animals are called viviporous animals for example like human beings human beings reproduce by giving birth to their babies okay human beings reproduce by giving birth to babies the same way animals such as dogs, cats, cow, horse, deer, lion, tiger, etc. also reproduce by giving birth to their young ones. Okay? The young babies of these animals feed on their mother's milk till they learn to eat other food. Okay? So, the young babies of these animals feed on their mother's milk till they learn to eat other food and such type of animals are called mammals mammals give birth and feed them with their milk they guard their babies and keep them clean they look after them until they are old enough to look after themselves you know human beings are also mammals now, the second type is the animals which give birth to their young ones through eggs are called oviparous animals. Okay? Examples like birds, fish, insects, frogs, snakes, lizards, turtles, alligators, crocodiles are animals that lay eggs. The eggs are hatched, then young ones come out. Okay, so oviparous animals are the animals which give birth to their young ones through eggs. 
now we already learned about animals habitat okay in our previous chapter so here according to their habitat oviparous animals divided into three categories number one is aerial oviparous animals like birds number two is terrestrial oviparous animals like insects snakes lizard turtles and crocodiles number third is aquatic oviparous animals like fishes frogs etc now let us see how these animals reproduce let's start with aerial oviparous animals aerial oviparous animals examples are birds the birds such as hen pigeon sparrow crow parrot duck and ostrich etc lay eggs okay first of all they lay eggs and after that adult birds sit on the eggs for a few days to keep them warm till they hatch okay so the process in which a bird keep its eggs warm until the young come out is called it's called incubation is called incubation so incubation is the process in which a bird keep its eggs warm until the young one come out and hatching is the process in which the young one break the egg shell to come out okay so there are three stages first of all birds lay eggs after that adult birds sit on the eggs for a few days to keep them warm till they hatch and the last process is just hatching now let us know more about an egg an egg has following parts number 1 is shell number 2 is albumin number 3 is yolk and number 4 is air cell let's start with shell this outer covering okay shell is made up of calcium carbonate and has tiny pores to allow passage of air and moisture for the body bird okay second is albumin albumin forms egg white contains water and protein this egg white contains water and proteins third one is yolk the yellow yolk contains more proteins along with some fat vitamins and minerals and the last part of an egg is air cell is present at the larger end this is called air cell okay it is present at the larger end forms when egg cools down after getting laid so these are the main parts of an egg number 1 is shell number 2 is albumin number 3 is yolk and number 4th is air cell shell is the outer covering albumin means egg white yolk means that yellow part yellow yolk okay an air cell present at the larger end forms when egg cools down after getting laid now let us know about our second oviparous animal that is terrestrial animals insects all insects reproduce by laying eggs insect eggs are deposited by an adult insect in a safe location safe location means like on leaves dirt water even bodies of human beings and other animals the eggs are usually sticky so they can hang on to the surface without falling off okay so all insects reproduce by laying eggs their eggs are usually sticky so they can hang on to the surface without falling off adult insect deposit their eggs in a safe place now some insects such as grasshopper cockroaches pass through three stages in their life cycle now question is what is life cycle 
लाइफ साइकिल मीन्स द सिक्वेंस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट दैट टेक्स प्लेस इन एन एनिमल फ्रॉम द एग टू द एडल्ट स्टेज इज कॉल्ड इट्स लाइफ साइकिल तो द सिक्वेंस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट दैट टेक्स प्लेस इज एन एनिमल फ्रॉम द एग टू द एडल्ट स्टेज इज कॉल्ड इट्स लाइफ साइकिल सो सम इन सिक्स हैज सम इन सिक्स हैव थ्री स्टेजेस इन देयर लाइफ साइकिल्स एंड सम इन सिक्स हैव फोर स्टेजेस इन देयर लाइफ साइकिल्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद इन सिक्स दोज हैव थ्री स्टेजेस इन देयर लाइफ साइकिल लाइफ लाइक साइकिल ऑफ अ कॉकरोच अ कॉकरोच हैज थ्री स्टेजेस इन देयर लाइफ साइकिल नंबर वन इज एग वेन द एग्स ऑफ एन कॉकरोच hatch baby cockroaches come out and they are called nymph so when the eggs of a cockroach hatch baby cockroaches come out and they are called nymph they look similar to adult cockroaches if you will see this picture they look similar to adult cockroaches they shed their skin several times okay and when they are growing they shed their skin several times when they are growing and this is called molting molting is a process where insects shed their skin during development it is known as molting okay after molting many times they change into adult cockroach after molting many times okay then they change into adult cockroach so a cockroach has three stages number 1 is egg number 2 is nymph and number 3 is adult cockroach and molting what is molting molting is a process in which insects shed their skin during development so now it's revision time so let's do some activities okay here we have to choose the correct option so are you ready so let's read the first sentence which of the following is not a part of a bird's egg we read four parts number 1 shell very good number 2 albumin number 3 yolk and number 4 air cell so which is not a part okay pupa hmm shell is there yolk is there so pupa is the not a part of a bird's egg is the process in which the young one breaks open the egg shell to come out which process it is where the young one breaks the shell of an egg and it come out that is hatching very good which of these defines a mammal i told you mammals give birth and feed them with their milk so let's see mm, first option is it gives birth to babies and feed them with its own mill second option is it lays eggs and look after their babies or it lays eggs but does not look after them mm the correct answer is a it gives birth to babies and feed them with its own milk now number 4 is cockroaches pass through stages in their life cycle how many stages have you remembered 1 3 or 6 you're right 3 number 1 is egg number 2 nymph and number 3 adult cockroach insects shed their skin during development it is known as molting incubation or hatching i've already told you yes molting is the correct answer dogs cats deer tigers etc are examples of dash animals dogs cats deer tiger etc are examples of oviparous animals viviparous animals or aquatic animals you are right viviparous animals because they give birth to their young ones here is another activity just fill in the blanks this is your homework Okay so you have to do this exercise in your copy and when in the next turn i will check it 
सो लेट्स रीड फर्स्ट सेंटेंस द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम फॉर विच अ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज लिवस इज कॉल्ड द एनिमल्स विच गिव बर्थ टू देयर यंग वर्स आर कॉल्ड द एनिमल्स विच ले एग्स आर कॉल्ड बर्ड्स बेयर देयर यंग इन शेल्ड एग्स लेट्स रीड द ऑप्शन ऑल्सो हार्ट लाइफ स्पेन वेवेपोरस ओविपोरस so the period of time for which a living organism lives is called yes you're right life span the animals which give birth to their young ones are called viviparous animals and the animals which lay eggs are called oviparous animals birds bear their young in yes hard shelled eggs so children do this work in your copy okay now in our next class we will learn about the insects those have four stages in their life cycle and aquatic oviparous animals okay so till then goodbye take care stay at home and be safe